There are some disadvantages with traditional diagramming interface. For one, it involves a lot of mouse clicks. You need to click your mouse many times on the diagram toolbar and the diagram itself. Second, you need to remember the notation syntax. You have to check manually if your model elements are correctly connected and follow the notation syntax. Third, because of all those syntax rules, it is rather easy to make mistakes. Let's see an example on video. Let's say you are describing the process of returning library books. With the traditional diagramming interface, we use the diagram toolbar to draw. Let's begin by drawing a start event. Select start event and then drop it in. Then edit task. Select task, drop it in, and then enter return library books. Hit return. Let's resize a little bit. And then let's add a connector between these two. Go back to the toolbar, select sequence flow, and then draw a line between these two. Okay. Now we might want to check if the books are overdue. So let's add a gateway. Go back to the toolbar, select gateway and then drop it in, type in overdue, press enter, okay, now let's add a connector between these two, go back to the toolbar, select sequence flow, and then draw the line. Well, you get the idea, we have to travel a lot to the diagram toolbar. On the other hand, resource-centric interface is like a pocket knife that comes with diagramming tools. The tools follow you around on the diagram. There are a few advantages with resource-centric interface. First, you cut down the number of times you click the mouse. The interface gives you shortcuts to add new model elements on the diagram. Second, you don't need to remember the notation syntax. The interface will give you shortcuts to create model elements that stick to the syntax rules. You don't have to check them manually. Third, with all these convenient shortcuts to draw, you save a lot of time. It's much quicker to produce business process diagrams. Let's see an example on video. Let's say you're describing the same process of returning library books you saw earlier. But this time, we will use the resource-centric interface to help us draw. Let's begin by drawing a start event. In the diagram toolbar, select start event. And then click once in the diagram to drop it in. Then maybe resize it a little bit and then move it over. Now, instead of going back to the toolbar again, just select the start event to continue. You will see some small icons around it. There are shortcuts to help us draw. If you place your mouse over them, you will see the descriptions in bubbles. For example, sequence flow to task, and another one for subprocess and so on. In our example, we're going to add a task. So click on the icon with the task image. And then you can move it around to a desired place. Then just double click. Enter and return library books. Press enter to confirm. Then let's resize it a little bit. And then move it over to the right. OK. Now to add a gateway, just select the task here. And then choose the generic resource icon 
and that is the little cube here and then you can see the tooltips that says generic resource and then click there again you can move the line around to a desired place once you find the place where you want to stop just double click it and then the pop-up menu will show select gateway and then gateway again and then just enter overdue question mark and then press enter to confirm and then move it over a little bit there you have it as you can see it took us less time to do the same thing this time